Hi, Flosstube. Hello, Flosstube. I'm Pam. I'm Stephanie. And this is Just, Just Keep Stitching, episode 226. <laughs> Why did I always think his heart was 100? I don't know. That was a long time ago. 25 plus 1 plus 100 plus 50 plus 25 plus 25 is 220. Six, cause math. Welcome back, everybody. Hello, people. We're coming to you a little late. Thank you for your patience. We have been on a very long trip. Yes. Uh, probably the longest we've taken this year. Yep, definitely. And the it is um, nice to be home. It's always good to go. It's nice to be home. And um, this was a great way to end up retreat season for us. Yes. Uh, we hope you've had a good week. Welcome back to all of our regulars and a special hello to anybody who's just found us. This is a channel about cross stitch. Yes. I'm the mother. She's the daughter. Yep. And off we go. Yes. Um, like I said, uh, we left Thursday. Thursday. Yes, we did. Leave yes, Thursday. we left Thursday for Troy, New Hampshire. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. For the stitch in at the farm. Yes. In with two ends. Yes. It was at East Hill Farm mm -hmm. in Troy, New Hampshire. Yep. And it was set up by Lynette mm -hmm. from Homesteading on the Homefront on yep. Floss Tube. Yep. And it was a working farm mm -hmm. with... Uh, working animals. Working animals. <laughs> And, and working people and fun and fun animals. Yes. And uh, did you take was, a walk around the farm at all? I did not. I did not. You? I did. You did for the both of us. I did. Yeah. Um, we had. What did she end up having? How many people? Uh, yeah. Um, I think there was like sixty. People. Yeah, it was sixty. And roughly maybe fifty-eight. Uh, maybe there were 62. many nooks and crannies and rooms for mm -hmm. stitching. As well as a big room in the center where we all had our meals at yes. the same time all together. Yeah. And there was a optional gift exchange. Mm -hmm. and Smalls exchange, yeah. What did I say gift exchange? Smalls yeah. exchange, she's right. And um, what else do you want to add to that? We saw a lot of old friends. Yes. Uh, from... Um, the New England area, as well as other states. Yes. So for, if you're brand new here, right. um, so we live in Cincinnati, Ohio, um, and the whole reason that we feel inclined to go to this retreat, mm -hmm. uh, so Pam is from Maine. Mm -hmm. I went to college in Maine. My grandparents lived in Maine my whole life. So we have a, a pull to New England, right? Yes. So, um, and so that a lot of people are like, why would you go all the way there for a retreat? Mm -hmm. um, and we just love those people and they, um, it, it's just amazing. So, um, yeah. we went two years ago in 2019 to, um, when it was called the frugal Yankee retreat. Well, there still is a frugal Yankee to be clear. She's so these are two separate events. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. News to me. Oh, sorry. I didn't realize. So, um, right. And but you're way better about keeping up with it than I am. And then this stitch in at the farm, they yep. had a very, very, very small group. I think an exploratory group. Yeah, like six, eight people. Yeah, in the spring oh, of the, this year. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And, um, and the farm, it's like the farm itself hosts other retreats of like knitters or whatever yeah. and other groups of people. I think that's where Lynette got the idea. I think you were correct about that. So, um, we'll have lots of pictures to show you somewhere yeah. in the midst of this video or yes. at the end or whatever. Yep. There's a huge slideshow. Yeah. Um, so that was pretty much the reason why we were delayed in filming. We didn't right. get home until five o'clock PM yesterday yep. factored in with the time change. Right. And we are kind of all discombobulated, uh, right. tonight, at least, uh, speaking for myself. Yeah. Uh, it is about 6.30 p.m. Um, here in southwest Ohio. It feels like 7.30. It looks like 7.30. Mm -hmm. And we're having lighting issues. So apologies ahead of time for little glare things that are going on. Pam worries about it a lot more than I do. Uh, yeah, kind of. Um, so uh, that's where we've been. Yeah. Um, 
other big news this week happening, has happened, will happen tomorrow, is I'm replacing my stitching recliner. And the old one went out the front door mm -hmm. yes. today. Yep. And um, so Pam's sitting on the floor. No, I'm not. I'm just kidding. <laughs> I'm making. Not. I'm making do. Yes. So, um, with that being said, anything yeah. else to add? I have nothing else to add. No. Nothing else to add. Nope. Okay. So let's do a hashtag. Not that I'm not going to talk about it later. No, I know. Want to no. do a hashtag? Sure. Let's okay. do a hashtag. <laughs> um, our hashtag is Stitch Harmony. It is aware. Uh, it is our attempt at connecting stitchers together. So if you are someone who lives, um, not necessarily like by yourself, but you don't have a stitching community or a stitching friend nearby, geographically speaking, mm -hmm. um, then and would like our assistance in helping find you someone who is local to you that you can stitch with, we'd love to help you out with that. Um, and so every week we ask you to. Um, Put your name in the comment, comment below a video, use the hashtag Stitch Harmony, tell us your name and where you live, and then every week we pick one of those comments and share them with you all. So, who is this week's featured Stitch Harmony commenter, Pam? This week's featured Stitch Harmony commenter is, who is Heather Britcher. Hello, Heather. Hi, Heather. And this is what Heather wrote. Hi, Steph and Pam. People are getting the... I know they're getting the hint that, getting the thing. that we like it. Hashtag Stitch Harmony. I'm Heather and I am new to cross stitch. Welcome. I have no one I know who cross stitches. I would love to find someone that also stitches and that doesn't mind giving tips. That's good. I have everything I need except a buddy. Oh. I hope you can help me. I live in a small town called Marengo, Iowa. Did you know that there's also a Marengo, Ohio, a Marengo, Indiana, a Marengo, Illinois, and a Marengo, Wisconsin? Mar yes, that's in a Marengo County, Alabama. Holy cow. So, we're looking and talking about Marengo, Iowa, yes? Yes, we are. All right, well, it is, what is that? The Burr Oak Wildlife Area County Preserve. Okay. Um, They have a golf club there. Oh, it's like, it's literally r due west of Amana. Oh. So just Holy outside Cedar hell. Rapids. E Heather, you've got a... You have got a... There are people there, I know that. Yeah, there are people there and they stitch. Yes. Absolutely. They most assuredly do. Yeah. So, okay, let me, let me just... Uh, we know lots of Iowa cross-stitchers. We do. Okay. So, there is the great state of Iowa, and the red dot is Marengo, Iowa. If we zoom in a bit, you can see that it is east of Des Moines and just outside Cedar Rapids, right? Yes. Wonderful. It is southwest of Cedar Rapids. Very good. So, let's see. The, let's see. Oh, it's pretty there. Ooh. There's a buzzard. Uh, anyway, so how this works is if your ear is perked up because you live in around nearby within driving distance of Orango, Iowa, and you would like to stitch with Sweet Heather and have room in your stitching group for Heather, then please comment below and say, Hi, hey, Heather. My name is, insert name here, I live in around nearby within driving distance of Marengo, Iowa, and I would love to stitch with you. And then it is up to you, excuse me, Heather, to check the comments on this week's video and see if anyone has reached out to you and then start conversing with this person, these people, mm -hmm. and make connections. And hopefully you all can, you know, meet up and be friends. Right. So all you Iowa people, Cedar Rapids people. Yeah. Um, reach they, out. Reach out. Comment leave, below. leave Heather a comment and tell her Heather that Britcher. Heather Britcher, and she would like to meet you. She's a new stitcher, and she needs some tips yeah. and some friends to stitch with. And, and a buddy or two. And a buddy. She's all set. She just needs a buddy. Yeah, just needs a friend. Okay. Okay. All right. So that means it's time for what's next? <clears throat> what's going on with my hair here? Don't ask me, Pam. I'm having a great year day. 
Cam's pinned comment, and that's the comment of all the comments we got on last week's video, a week ago Sunday. Yes. The one that tickled my fancy, Thank folks. Thank you. So, this comes to us from a gal we know. Yeah. She was at StitchCon uh -huh. this summer. Yes. And she got my small oh, in the yeah. Smalls Exchange. I forgot about that. Yeah. And her name is Stephanie Brown. And she's Stephanie with two N's. Stephanie with two N's. Yes. And this is what she wrote. She said, I'm a bit late finishing up your video. Last week got busy with work and unfortunately it interrupted my just keep stitching time. Shame on them. Unacceptable. Two weeks ago, I bought mom a new Chromebook and introduced her to Floss Tube. Wow. She is now obsessed with you two. <laughs> Hi, Stephanie's mom. Hi, Stephanie's mom. I call her every day and she now has a list of things to discuss oh about goodness. Pam and Steph. Oh my goodness. So if you see an uptick in past video views, <laughs> it's mom. It's mom. She gets so excited when you mention the silver needle. Aww. That's the first LNS she ever took me to a hundred years ago. Oh, that's awesome. Okay, I'm not 100, but you get the idea. Right. I so enjoy your videos, and now something to share with mom. Love that. Thank you, ladies, for sparking a flame in my mama. P.S. Love all the spooky stitches and spooky tree. You all are an inspiration. Well, that is well, just Stephanie. lovely. That's very nice. And you need to tell mom she needs to leave a nice comment like that. I've pinned <laughs> yours to the top of all the comments yes. we got last week. And maybe we'll pin Stephanie's mom's comment. Absolutely. And by we, I mean Pam, because it is Pam's that's, Pam's comment. That's right. So, that works. Um, we encourage comments. We love comments. Yes. We respond to comments with specific questions. Yes. Otherwise, I generally read them all and heart them to show you that I have read them. Yes. And share some with me. Thank you for um, uh, interacting with us. We really, really do enjoy it. Absolutely. Let's talk about stitching, shall we? We shall. Well, you know, we've done a lot of it. I mean, yeah, I spent the majority of my... I was being sarcastic. Oh, okay. Because like, not a whole lot of stitching gets done at retreats. <laughs> yeah. Um, I didn't know that. And I drove, so I didn't drive. I didn't stitch in the car. And obviously. I can't stitch in the car, so there Which you I think go. It's funny. Um, but I, um, I spent Thursday night at the hotel, Friday night at the retreat, and most of the day Saturday <laughs> stitching on a Smalls Exchange piece that I have finally finished. That will go hopefully out in the mail. Mm -hmm. It needs to be out in the mail by the 12th. So. Um, but it's done and it's freaking cute. Se secret stitching. Um, I can't wait to share it with you. Everybody at the retreat was like, I haven't seen you show this. What is this? And I was like, that's my secret stitching. Right, right, right. Um, so on Saturday evening and then um, Sunday night in the hotel. And then last night when we were home, um, I have been working on my Mary String by Lizzie Kate. This is what it looks like. Um, that's the new Thanksgiving one that um, we've gotten framed recently. We just changed our wall over, obviously, from spooky to thankful. Um, and so that's up there. And then... I might have to skip December if we can't get it framed before right. um, before Christmas, but that's okay nonetheless. Mm -hmm. And I am stitching this just like I want them all to be the same size. So um, they are all stitched on 25 count Lugano, two threads over two, um, using all of the called for colors, except um, the Lugana is cream. So you can't really tell with this one or the Halloween one, but white does not really show up the best. When I look at the winter one, I'm kind of sad because the snow you can't really see. And I wish I had made an executive decision to change the colors. But then, like, what would I have changed snow to? Right? But other than white. Anyway, all that to say, I'm doing things differently for Mary String. Which is that if it's white and it's not surrounded or enclosed or touching another color, then I'm going to change it because you otherwise can't see it. So there are um, quite a few uh, letters actually in 
the whole alphabet, like the letter J, the letters N-O-P, all of that is white, and you can see it. So, um, so I took all of the called for threads and kind of laid them out and looked at the surrounding stuff and made some executive decisions on what color I think works, but looks best there. Um, and I am super happy with yeah, it. Yeah, you should be. Um, that was good. So, I got all the way to letter P. Mm hmm And so that is what it looks like now. See, and you can see the, and so Pam thinks I should backstitch the candy cane and the pre, the present underneath the pink present there. Um, but I just, I don't know. I just don't love that look of, like, if you're going to backstitch it, then backstitch the whole thing. Yeah, you don't, you don't like the idea of, of it's just my eye would selective go, backstitching. Right. My eye will go mm -hmm. directly to it. Mm -hmm. Um, and so... I mean, if I'm comfortable with the snowflakes on the other one being not backstitched, mm -hmm. I think I should be fine with the candy cane and that one present. Mm -hmm. So, um, so I obviously changed the J to pink, and I changed the N O to pink, and I changed the P to it's actually like a, um, like it's called crimson from weeks, so it's a little dark red color. But mm -hmm. um, I do have more. Secret stitching um, for our secret Santa with our crockpot crew that I need to uh, work on. So I will make this my, go back to my Sunday project. But it's nice and easy on the eyes when I'm tired. So. Absolutely. Okay. So that is what I have been working on that I can show. Mm -hmm. And what have you been working on, Pam? Okay, well, um, I've taken a little uh, allowance for myself. Oh, yeah? Uh, because Who told you you could do that? Uh, no one, okay. but I decided to do it anyway. Okay. Um, I nice am continuing you. to work on Carter House Sampler 1817 because I am... Because you want to. Enjoying it so much and... I want to have it be a completed project for WIPCO. Oh, yeah. And I will finish this, if not tonight, because I'm sort of out of my element without a chair until tomorrow. Mm -hmm. But I will finish it. If not tonight, it'll be finished tomorrow. Um, they're not delivering the new chair. I just got a text until the latter part of the afternoon. Oh, really? So, um, what are you going to do? Um, I'm... I'll adjust. It's not a big deal. Are you going to sit in my chair? I don't know. We'll figure it out. I better not come home and you're sitting in my chair. <laughs> so anyway, it's um, already got my this is the almost finished Carter House Sampler 1817. So you can see. Yeah, Pam, you're almost done. I am almost done. You really need to And do everybody was very interested at the retreat to see this in the wild. Yes. See this live and in person. Right. And they said, oh, color. the video just doesn't do it justice. Sure. So, apologies for that. But uh, down this sort of blue and rust color is now completely in. That's so pretty. This is the bottom corner. This is a house, I believe. Yeah. So, I, always, uh, I only have... The rest of the bottom and this corner, and I will be done. It looks so good. So I'm really happy that I have a finish. I haven't had a finish in quite a while. No. And. Don't mind my eyeballs. Sorry. It's fine. So that's Carter House, and it will be done by next next video for sure. And you're stitching that so, on 28 count vintage meadow rue from Lakeside Linux. Right. It's all kitted up by the. Um, Carter House people by the uh, designer Kathleen oh, at, Littleton cross at, at cross, cross Stitch Antiques. Cool. So um, that awesome. is Carter House. Yeah, it is. And um, it's been a lot of fun. Yes. Not generally a sampler person, but as those of you who have been watching us the last month or so know, it kind of has a special significance. It does. For me. Do you want me to link the Carter House video again? 
No. Okay. We linked it last time and, and the week before. Two times ago. So if you're interested in the history of Carter House, yeah, yeah, yeah. Uh, you can go back and do Absolutely. That. Okay, the other project that I worked on was <laughs> one of my two November WIPCO projects. And this is, um, I guess I'm going to say up front, it's pretty much impossible to find. Oh, um, okay, yeah. It's not, It's very much out of print, yeah. Very much out of print. Um, it was an exclusive Back in to the day with. when I was first stitching in the, in the 90s 19, and 19. early... Teens. Early 2000s. Um, there were <coughs> upwards of five shops in Greater Cincinnati, two of them in the suburb of Madeira, and they were across the street from one another. They were. And one of them was Creative Cottage. They also had quilting material. And the other one was um, run by Ruth Sparrow of Twisted Threads. And in 2001, she uh, collaborated with Krynek to design this um, piece called Our Flag, and um, it either came with or I purchased the frame, mm -hmm. and it was using 30... Uh, Silk Mori, is that how you say it? It is. Silk Mori um, threads from Krynik. Yes. So it's just one sheet, and I don't want to show the chart, obviously. But it's called yeah. Our Flag, and the words say Our Flag was still, still there. there, and then you have the flag. Mm -hmm. Okay? Yep. And it's one strand of um, silk. Silk. Over one. Over one on 36 count, folks. It's over one on 36? No, wait a minute. 32. 32. Okay, I was 32. like... 32. God, yeah, she knows me. I was like, oh... Um, There's no flipping way. I so mean... So it came, it came with... This is still in the cellophane. Mm -hmm. um, oh, that's from Old Colonial? This is an Old Colonial that's frame hilarious. that hasn't even been unwrapped. Nope. So that's where it's going to go. That's fine. And this is as far it's as I hilarious. got before I was pulling my hair out. Yeah. So, um, let me oh, just yeah. take this top part off. Can you just hold that? Absolutely, Sack. Pam. Yep, yep, yep. Set. Yep, yep. So, this is how much I've gotten done. I had some words in, which made it a whip. Mm -hmm. So, I finished the words, and then I counted down to the flag. When did you start that? Good Lord, I don't know. Probably when it came out in 2001. Oh, wow. And because I had the the frame for it and everything, yeah. uh, you know, I tend to think of my projects as at one point I invested that money and I hate yeah. no, I sure. hate giving up on something that I've clearly, you know, and I'm... Do you want my needle back? Yeah, I do want my needle back. Okay. Thank you. So um, I worked on that a little bit, but... Where I stand now with my whips is I am going to stay with Carter House, finish that off, and then go back to this. Okay. And hope That's for fine. the best. Hopefully. I think, I mean, I've got to do it when my eyes are fresh. Yeah, I yeah, yeah. You know that. I can't no, do it at sure. night. Right, right. And, um. You can do it, Pam. I believe in you. And finish it, and I've got the frame, so it's not going to be yeah. that uh, expensive to frame because no, I you have the frame. It. Yep. So, um, it'll be good to go. Giving everything in this one little <coughs> project bag. Half size project bag? Yeah, it's a half size project bag. Yeah, and it's it. So it all goes in there. Isn't it? Isn't <laughs> yep. Yeah. Uh, so, those are our whips of the week. Okay. Yay. Very good. Very, very good. All right. Okay, so after that comes this. Yes. Promotions. Oh boy, All are right. you ready? So, um, we want to talk about the pattern of the week, but it is more than just one pattern. Yes. This is something that is extra, extra special. I don't know that they've ever done this before. Well, okay then. So, um, who we're talking about this? Yes. This is, <clears throat> this is uh, Nurson and Nerdin from 
Twin Peak Primitives over in the Netherlands. Yes. And we always offer a pattern of the week at 20% mm -hmm. off. Yes. Each video. Yes. Um, this one is going to run um, from... So this week until after the, our next episode. Yeah. For, so for a couple, yeah. 226 and 227. It's going to be the same. Yeah. And it episode. is a book. And it contains... I believe 14 ornaments. Yeah, so that's what it, it says is over the, in the email. Yeah. 14, 14 new ornaments from Twin Peak Primitives. And it's called the Twin Peak Ornament Book 2021. That's amazing. And I think they are all adorable. And we're all thinking about ornaments right now. So it couldn't come at a better time. And yep. so. We're going to insert a picture of the Twin Peak Primitives Ornament Twin Book 2021, 2021 here. Yay. So, look at that. Yeah. Um, what a steal. I think we have the cover of the book, and then we have sort of Some a others. picture of the arrangement that okay. they cool. they photographed everything awesome. on a table. So, that's what I just showed them? Yes, that's what okay. you just saw. Okay, great. great. Um, so. Okay, so how this works is, um, so it's 20% off, so you can get, um, but you can only get it 20% off at three different places, mm -hmm. okay? Are you listening? Are you listening? So, you can get a PDF download of this, of all 14 charts. They all come together in one thing. Um, you can get a PDF download of it from the Twin Peak Primitives Etsy shop or website, both of which are linked below. Or if you'd rather have a hard copy of the Twin Peak Primitives Ornament Book 2021, that is totally fine with us, but there is only one place where you can get it, and that is the Daily Stitcher, which is an online needle workshop located in Maine. Um, and I will link that shop below as well. Yep. No need for a discount code, no nothing, no fancy, fancy anything. It's already discounted for you. Right. So just add it to your cart and check out. And like we said, this will be um, the pattern of the 10 days as opposed to pattern of the week. Yeah. So it'll be for... Um, we'll announce it again on Sunday. Yep. Yeah, absolutely. That's the sure. easiest way to put it. Yep. Yep. Absolutely. Because it's going to run a little bit longer since we're kind of doing a, a week and a half delayed. kind of deal. Yes. Absolutely. Okay. All right. Uh, I don't think there's any more to talk about with that. Fantastic. So that means it's time for... Mail call! call. Okay, so, we actually don't have any mail call. No, we don't. I mean, we do, but we have so much other stuff to t show you yeah. from our trip that we are putting mail call off until Sunday's video episode 227. Right. So, we have stuff put aside, so don't fret, but we didn't want to not do the mail call and people say, what happened to the mail call? Yeah, so that was your warning. That yeah. was your... Advance notice. And we know that you people like consistency. So. Right. Okay. We, so, what what else we get for the rest of the week yes. will be included in next week's mail. It will. And everything that we received in the mail while we were gone is over there, too. So, uh, we may have mentioned, I'm pretty sure we did. Yes. Uh, that on our way to New England, mm -hmm. for whatever reason, we always stop somewhere in upstate New York. Mm -hmm. And um, from about the last almost two years now, yep. the um, destination shop in upstate New York along the New York Thruway yes. is in Pitts Pittsford. It's New great. York. Yep. And that is Hobby House. Hobby House Needle Works. And um, we... They've only been open in a year and a half. We planned our hotel overnight around the fact that we would drive yes. from our house mm -hmm. to Pittsford. Which is right and, outside of Rochester. And, um, right, it's just, it's actually, I think, in East Rochester, if you ask the locals. And um, 
No, no, Pittsburgh. The te the shop is in Pittsburgh. Pittsburgh, correct. But the hotel was in East Rochester. Whatever, whatever. whatever. You get the idea. So there, there, Pittsburgh is a village. It's like the cutest little, like quaintest little, mm -hmm. precious, precious Gilmore Girls town. Yeah, it's so cute. Yes. Um, and so, and I know of other like upstate New York and New England villages, like the right. village of, yeah. that are have this very Same similar vibe. Same feel. And it's the cutest ever. Right. And so, first we have to talk about Thursday night, which is hysterical. So, Thursday night, so Pam had um, gotten an email from a lovely woman whose name is Peggy. Right. Who um, lives in Utica. Yes, which is actually like two hours east of where, where of the shop is. the shop. And she was like, it's my LNS. Like, yep. I would love to meet you there, blah, blah, blah. And she said we should plan to eat at this um, restaurant mm -hmm. um, very nearby the shop mm -hmm. um, leading up to this hysterical situation. She was like, it's right there. Situation. She recommended a burger there. Mm -hmm. and we were burger people. The Conestoga so burger. Calistoga. Calistoga. Did I say Conestoga? You did. That's a wagon. Yes. Okay. Calistoga. So what's a Calistoga then? It's the burger. I don't know. Okay, continue. <laughs> anyway, so we made our reservations for a hotel and we decide to go down and check out this restaurant once we got into the room and threw our suitcases on the bed and all that kind of stuff. So by this time it's dark. Or at least it was when we came out of the restaurant. The meal was great. Restaurant was great. Have you figured it out? Keep talking. Okay. And so we were like, this was a great recommendation. And we paid our bill and we came out of the restaurant. Yes. And then. And by now it is dark. Uh, yeah. It was about nine o'clock. Dark. Okay. So wait. Wait. What? It's yeah, Calistoga. And Calistoga is a city in California. Oh, so the the burger um, is New York beef, New York bacon, New York aged cheddar, spicy pickle, greens, tomato, onion, blueberry ketchup, and truffle fries. So it has kind of a little funky California little funky vibe California going vibe. on. Yes, yes, yes. Yeah. And then I had the L.A. chicken. So like, you know, it's like, yeah. which is chicken? Well. Okay. Anyway. Okay. So we get out of, we walk out of the restaurant. Super cute. And it was a lovely evening. I mean, it was dark. It literally, like, you drive over the Erie Canal twice. And our plan was to go to Hobby House the next day. Correct. When before they opened we head tent. to New Hampshire. Correct. Right. So, we walk outside of the restaurant, and it's, like, in this little plaza situation. And I said to Pam, I said, let's just see where the shop is from here. For tomorrow. The next day. Right. So I go to my Google Maps and I type in Hobby House New Works and I open it up and guess how far away it was? 450 feet. She literally... I literally just turned around. Turned. And it was on the other side of the plaza. It was super fun. We had no idea it was there. Super fun. And I was like, Pam, I think it's... Yep, right there. Yep. Yep. Everything is within like a few feet. So it was this big, like you... you Drive over the Erie Canal, mm -hmm. and there's a left-hand turn, and then there's, like, kind of a horseshoe situation of restaurants and shops. Yes. And then you park in the middle. Yes. That was a very good And you don't need to move your car to go to From that restaurant to the or the Greek restaurant right. or Hobby Or House. the brewery. We were laughing hysterically. Yes. yes. So, clearly, we knew what was happening as soon as we got up the yeah. next day. And I was like, oh, we can find our way back here easy. So, we head up the road. Mm -hmm. Yes. And we... They opened at 10. We stopped and got Starbucks on the way. Mm -hmm. And then, because um, we didn't want to be there, like, right at 10. Um, and then we got there, and Peggy came out and met us. And she brought us these delicious, delicious treats. They were like pies. With chocolate taste, pudding in With them. chocolate pudding inside. It was more like a chocolate like fudge situation. It was. It, it wasn't, wasn't like pudding, like it wasn't wet pudding, pudding, but it was it was it was not chocolate chips either. It was no. it, was it was delicious. Like I think so we good. have one left. And a box of half moon cookies. Oh, yeah. Half moon cookies. 
Yes. We haven't gotten into them yet, Peg. Nope, so yet. anyway, Peggy was lovely. Yes, she very much was. she uh, was so excited mm -hmm. to see us. She yes. took us in. Mm -hmm. And oh my goodness. It's very lovely. First of all, it is an absolutely adorable, attractive shop from the get-go. From jump. From jump. It is adorable inside. It's very log cabin situations. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Very log cabin vibe. Mm -hmm. Exposed beam. Natural wood. Yes. Um, And so there's like a fireplace in the middle. And then... There's just stuff all around the fireplace, and then mm -hmm. there's stairs that go upstairs, and it's like a half floor. I mean, it's a full floor, but it's like a half of a floor of cross-stitch stuff. They're mm -hmm. like little office and um, like computer stuff is up there, and then they have wool and like all that kind of stuff. Right. And just like from an aesthetic standpoint, it's just chef's kiss. It's perfection. It's mm -hmm. very upstate New York. Um, so like you see the pictures online, and you're like. Is this really going to be as beautiful as these pictures are like filters? Like, yeah. yes, yeah. yes, it Just is adorable. beautiful as you think it is. And so, um, but it was funny because in our brains, we had always just pictured like one does. We pictured that it was going to be like a stand. I mean, not that it's connected to anything. It does not connect to anything. No, but I like mean, we didn't picture it in a plaza like that. Right. You know what I'm saying? Right, so, right. so anyway, um, and let me just say, okay, so and this is the first video of ours you've ever watched. So, um, the local needle workshop here in Cincinnati is Keepsakes. I work at Keepsakes. I'm responsible for doing all of the ordering or the majority of the ordering for the shop. Um, and I've worked there for it'll be almost four years now. Um, and so I love going to other shops because I like a spending money there. Right. Um, and I love seeing what they have that's different from what Keepsakes has. Um, and just seeing how other people display things, how other people operate, like what models they have, what, you know, how just, you know, I just think that that's so interesting as a professional in the industry. It's just really cool to go out and see what other people are doing. And I don't look at it as like a, oh, you're my competition situation. It's like the more brick and mortar, family owned, situation shops we can have out there I feel like the better off we will all be um and the better off cross stitch will be um you know I realize how helpful like the bigger box cross stitch stores are and if that's all you have I totally understand that I'm not trying to knock it but there's just something that is so incredibly special about a brick and mortar cross stitch Absolutely. only shop that if you've never been to one you need to experience it'll just it makes you so excited to Absolutely. be a stitcher Absolutely. um and so there are there's a couple that owns it um and that own hobby house needleworks mm -hmm. and then um the owner's wife's sister also was working there and um all of them were such incredibly lovely humans mm -hmm. um we talked a lot about their story, how they came to be. We talked shop for a little bit. We talked future plans a little bit. Um, we talked likes and dislikes and this and that. And just, it, it was a very wonderful time. They and had a wonderful selection of fabrics mm -hmm. and threads, including silks. Um, they had a lovely display of silks. Yep. They had a wide selection of hard copy patterns. Yep. And notions, mm -hmm. I was close to um, to the point of maybe snapping one of my clamps on my Q-snap, and I thought, I better pick one up. I yep. was able to do that before we went on to our retreat. Yep. Um, delightful to talk to mm -hmm. and, and super they... helpful. I um, noticed that they had lots of shaker boxes as mm -hmm. well. Both Lachey's and a local Lone, artisan and Lone and, Elm Lane. And Lone Elm Lane. Mm -hmm. um, so I um, am looking forward to them ordering one of the Lone Elm boxes for me mm -hmm. for a project. Yep. So and so interesting fun fact about them. Um, so they actually they've been open for a year and a half, right? So um, it's been almost two years. Okay. Okay. They, they told me a year and a half. Okay. But whatever. So, um, their first wholesale experience was they had signed up to, it was, um, 
Kathy is the one of the owners and then her sister. They both together went to Nashville Network Market in 2020. Mm -hmm. And if you guys can remember back to the beginning of the pandemic, New York State was one of the very first states to completely shut down. Mm -hmm. So Kathy and her sister were on their way back to the shop from Nashville when she got the call from her husband and said, they've just shut the shit, shut the state down. Shut the shit down. So, <laughs> um, you know, we're thinking it, it's fine. So that when you're like about to open a business and this happens, like, mm -hmm. and you know, I think that your immediate reaction is like, we're doomed, right? But they took what they were able to do was really utilize that time to focus on their e-commerce platform right. and their website. And I am, I've shot from them online plenty of times mm -hmm. um, and have been nothing but happy with my experience that way too. Um, and so just overall fantastic so yes. if you are somebody who is able to drive there go there if you are someone who can only buy online because you don't have a shop like that please do that mm -hmm. um their e-commerce platform is wonderful mm -hmm. um their online shop i guess i should say is absolutely wonderful and they're good people and um yeah it's no, great. It. Yeah, yeah. So ball. I promise you will have nothing but a wonderful experience. However, you're able to shop with Hobby House for sure. Um, so I took a lot of pictures and I, I did a shop tour for everyone. So uh, that we're going to enter into the video. So, but first we want to show you the haul that we got. Yeah. So you can yeah. see that first. So you want me to go first? Uh, yeah, that, okay. that'll be fine. Well, let's show off what they gave us when we left. Oh, yeah. They were so kind. I had been admiring these. And look what then they gave us. look at what they gave us for coming. These fantastic, heavy-duty, very utilitarian um, canvas, canvas tote, bags. tote bags. So nice. And then they have a zipper top. Yep. It's beautiful. This is their logo. Yep. Um, and of course I will in the description box below will give you all their information. You can call them and order online um over the phone yeah. if you would rather do that too. Um but then of course I'll link their website and all that good stuff too. Right. So. so I put all my haul in my bag. I actually put all your haul in your bag. That's you fine. did it. Yep, yeah, you did it. That's right. So um I guess what I decided to do yes was um they had a large selection of primitive hair hard copy charts okay yes, yes. and so as i was going up and down the racks mm -hmm. of them they um had one that i thought i'd been eyeing for a while and i checked on the primitive hair etsy shop and sure enough i had favorited this chart mm -hmm. But to get the hard copy in my in my hands, Hot was, hands was fantastic. So this is we have a here. thing for for hard copy charts. Right, I'm looking for the um, copyright 2021. Oh yeah, yeah, yeah. Okay, so it's brand new. Wow, brand new. This is from or this year. Oh, 2021 almost over. And it's from the primitive hair, and it's called Oceanarium. So I went ahead and got this in hard copy mm -hmm. at Hobby House. And you can see it's got, I'm not really a mermaid person. Yeah, I'm kind of surprised you got it, But honestly. I loved the whale, and I loved all the other stuff. Mm -hmm. And she didn't look too, too bad. <laughs> too I mean, girly. Too girly girly. And I like the words, say? the words say, um, come out of your shell. Oh, cute. Uh, take time to coast. Uh, sea life's sea beauty. Sea life's beauty, and it's S E A. Be sure. Be sure of yourself. And make waves. And make waves. So, oh my God, that I love all it. made up for the fact that I'm not really a mermaid. Person. Yeah, very true. Yeah, yeah. So, we've got a jellyfish, an anchor, and a she's whale. Not, she's, for lack of a better word, she's not a raunchy mermaid. No, and, and she's kind of, 
I mean, if you're into a raunchy mermaid. She's really kind of not even defined real well. I mean, in specific anatomical ways, if you get my drift. Right. Um, She's not rated X mermaid. No. So I got her. I'm not opposed to X rated, but, you know. <laughs> Stephanie's gonna Pam, this is a family channel. <laughs> Stephanie's gonna spit. Um, <laughs> oh, watch out, they spit. <laughs> like a donkey. They, they also had a lot of primitive hair fabrics, mm-hmm. and the call for for this one is 30 count ancient stone. Don't take it out of the package. And I'm not gonna untie it because you know her, Isabel's fabrics are. Mm-hmm. Are all tied up with, but nice you think twine based on this photo that it would be a tan situation? And it's, and it's not. So that's how deceptive photos can be. So it's on this fabric, and aside yep, there from ancient stones, linen, bottom of her hair. Yep. And huh. I got all the classic color works except for black coffee. They were completely out of black yeah. coffee. And then so on down. this fabric, it's gonna be. So pretty. Sort of all these different oh, grays it. and blues and slates. Hey, and, must be gorge. and there was a there's a beige, but um anyway, so yeah. I kind of feel like um when I start this next year. Pam, did you get the B pack? No. B pack to complete the project is available by your LNF. I mean, I think you okay. should call well, copy house. Um Kathy will probably call me when yeah, that, about the shaker um, box. When that shaker box or that uh, lone elm box yeah, 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 yeah. is ready to be um, mailed, and I yes. will tell her to order the B box so the that B-pack. I can say I got the whole thing. Yeah, that's what I'm saying. Yeah, yeah. I mean, from, I can get it for you, but from Hobby House. I, yes. No, I did not notice that. And something tells me Kathy would have had to order that anyway. I would. Think I don't so. remember seeing it close by. And if I missed it, I'm sorry, but I didn't really notice um, many beads. That's okay, Pam. We'll so, forgive you just this one. Um, that is one thing that I got Got at Hobby House. Mm-hmm. They also had a lovely um, arrangement of Gloriana's. They did. <coughs> Gloriana silk. Mm-hmm. And I just, um, I just good. got them because they were pretty. Mm-hmm. This is um, six yards of 12 strand silk from France, and this one is Cotswold Garden. Oh, I it's like that Trace Kelly chart. Oh, yeah? Yeah, remember Cotswold Fields? Oh, yeah. One of the this one is Autumn Gold. Mm, I love that color. I got four. This one is Winter Woods. And Beautiful. this one is Bellagio. Oh, I love Bellagio. Yes, queen. So oh, it's beautiful. So I got those four silks, not for anything specific, just because they were pretty. That's okay. And they had such a great selection. You're allowed to do and that. And then I got 32 count Mayflower Mocha from R&R. Which and obviously we had to get. Was this a, ha- a fat? That's fat half. Both of those fat are Fat half. Mm-hmm. How pretty is that? Basic, but beautiful. Yes. Good Is neutral. Beautiful. And then I got this, which just has me drooling. This is 30 count 18th century mustard seed from R&R. Bam! Look at that. That's very 70s. Yeah. I mm-hmm. love it. I love it. Yeah, it's pretty. So, um, that was your hobby my house haul home? from Hobby House. Love it. Love it. Okay, you want to see mine? Okay. Um, alrighty. So, um, a lot of these are, were things that I had either never seen before or I got because of a model they had. So, and the models are totally different than the models that Keepsake size, which is the point of different shops, right? So, uh, so this one is a perfect example. So this was, um, so, uh, on the second floor, which you'll see in the tour video, the second floor, it's like a little bit of a Christmas winterland situation. Um, and they have a ton, they have a big tree with ornaments. They have a lot of Christmas charts up there. There's also a lot of wool applique, uh, applique stuff up there too. Um, but this was stitched as 
a little ornament and on the tree and it was freaking cute from Little House Needleworks called My Lady at Christmas. And I love that. And you get like this charm situation and then you can put an old picture in it. How cute is that? Isn't that the cutest? Um, stringy photo holder decoration room in town. So I gotta, I gotta figure out how to do that. But I gotta stitch it first, so I'm not too worried about it. Um, and then I got this from uh, the Scarlet House called Berry Bird. Love that. And, oh, she got it. Uh, it's on a candle holder. Cute. Super cute. Um, in addition to Lone Elm Lane boxes, they also had a ton of charts by Lone Elm Lane, and this is called Little Brown Sparrows. And again, just really love that. I think it's so sweet. And then there's a, a coordinating box that you can get from Lone Elm that this fits into, or onto, I should say. Um, and then they also had, um... A lot of modern folk embroidery charts in hard copy and I love that uh, and so I got one this one's called a Scandinavian Christmas sampler beautiful gorgeous red's my favorite color so I was like okay look at those birds how cute would one of those birds be on 40 cows this is a fob stop so cute um, okay, and then also from the Scarlet House, I've never seen this one before in my whole entire life, Christmas Tide at Holly House. I'm going to call it Christmas Tide at Hobby House. Look at it, though. Look at that. Look at those bucks on that house. Gorgeous. Huh. What's, I was just going to say, stitch on 40 count camo fudge, camo fudge, Linen from Stitches and Spice. Wow, I've never heard of this. This is from 2012. I've literally, I've never heard of that. Hmm. Well, I'm going to have to look into that. I'm mm -hmm. okay. Mm -hmm. um, okay, and then also, I got two charts from Hobby House Press. So, Kathy is a designer. She's, she would stop me and t say, I'm not a, not a designer. Okay. She's designed a few things. Um, and by a few, I mean three. And the models are obviously at Hobby House Needleworks. And they're beautiful. Two larger pieces. Um, another is a pillow. And they sell them, obviously, at Hobby House Needleworks. Mm -hmm. So, the small pillow um, has a little... It's like a reindeer jumping through a tree. They're all Christmassy. Um, and... The hard copies of them you get from Hobby House. So the first one is called Quaker Christmas. I love it. Yep, that tree alone is beautiful. Um, and she used Belle Soir. Yes. Love that. So, uh, yeah, then these are 2021. Hobby House Needleworks LLC. Cool. And then the other one that I got is called Dasher and Dancer. That's amazing. That one is amazing. So the tree is a kind of the same shape as the tree in the Quaker Christmas. I feel like it's a little, little bit it's, different. No, it's the same tree. Um, no, not the exact same, but very it's close. Kind of stylistically the same. I think. Yes, very similar. Mm -hmm. But this is gorgeous. It's she used a uh, gentle arts mulberry for this one. Um, it's stunning. Um, and so when I when we insert the video, um, this one is on the mantel in front of the fireplace, and then this one is on the lower part of the fireplace. So mm -hmm. make sure you look for those. Mm -hmm. um, Mm -hmm. Um, and then I got a little bit of fabric. Um, so they have, um, a great relationship with, uh, Seraphim Fabrics. Seraphim is in the 
New England East Coast area. And so they get a ton of her linen, which is awesome. Um, and so I stocked up while I was there. And so I got uh, Dusty Road, 40 count. Then Dead Sea Scrolls. Nice. That's going to be fun, mm -hmm. I feel like, for something monochromatic. Mm -hmm. uh, and they sell, they do custom cuts of fabric, or they do um, standard quarters, ha mm -hmm. fat quarters, fat halves, or full yards, of course. Uh, and then, so those two, they had just come in, and so I got to look at them on the table. And they serge everything for you, and they iron everything for you. So, mm -hmm. um, okay, then this is 36 count prairie grass got a fat quarter of that i love her fabrics um then this is uh 36 count tobias then 40 count old stationery love it love that color and then um i also got some mayflower mocha from r, r in 40 count very good very very good so, um, and then, um, I also got some Stitcher's Lotion from them. Mm -hmm. Um, and so I cannot say enough wonderful mm -hmm. things about them. Right. Um, they were wonderful people. There was even a model that was up on the wall that I asked Kathy what it was and she didn't know off the top of her head. Um, and so she took my email address and already emailed me the answer to my question. So yeah. customer service is clearly Absolutely. high on their list. Um, in regards to the Lone Elm box that I was interested in yep. for um, one of their designs, um, I said, um, she said, well, we can get it for you. And I said, okay, when we get home after the retreat, I'll call you. And she said, I'm ordering it right now. Right. She said, this is your email, right? And I was just like, yes. Fantastic. <laughs> awesome. So. Yeah. 10 out of 10. Highly Absolutely. recommend. Um, if and you are anywhere near New York State, Rochester area, <clears throat> um, I know that several people, when we announced we were going, said, that's my LNS. Mm -hmm. And um, you Y'all are lucky, lucky people. You have a beauty. Yes. have a beauty. So. Absolutely. So, um, so what we're going to do now is we're going to insert, um, the shop tour of Hobby House Needleworks. Um, and then on the end of that, any pictures or anything that we have at the end. Um, and I just want to say I had so much fun making the tour video. I, it's been a minute since I've recorded a shop tour video for you all, but, um, it was fun to get back out there and to, uh, do another shop tour. So, and a huge thank you again to everyone at Hobby House for the warm welcome Absolutely. and, um, for allowing us to share your shop, um, with all of our viewers. So Absolutely. we look forward to stopping there again. So here's a little peek at Hobby, Hobby House. House Needleworks. Hello friends. Uh, happy Friday. It's Friday for me. Um, when you see this, it'll be Tuesday, maybe Wednesday. I don't know. Um, but we are here in Pittsburgh, New York at Hobby House Needleworks. And I am here to give you a little shop tour. It's been a minute since I've done a shop tour, so this will be fun. So, um, yeah, so let's go inside.
Um, the next thing we want to uh, do is... No, not till the end. Not till the end. Okay. Yes. Jumping the gun again. Yes, yes. All right. So we want to talk about the retreat yeah. a little bit. And like I said, it was um, a very uh, unique setting. And um, we had uh, old friends to meet again mm -hmm. and new friends to meet for the first time. Yes. Um, we left um, Pittsburgh. Um, about nine. About nine-ish. Oh, no, no, no. No, wait a minute. Wait, we, we were at Hobby House. After, after Hobby House, duh. Yeah, yeah, Ugh. yeah. I was um, like, wait, what? So we were there. We were at Hobby House till about 1230. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I would say. And so about two, two and a half hours at Hobby House on Friday. And we had to get to Troy, New Hampshire. So um, it was Which is about a, five and a half hour drive. Yeah, five it and was, hour drive. Uh, quite a long drive. Mm -hmm. Stephanie did all the driving to New Hampshire and back. Yep. It was her car, and um, she did a great job. Um, I pay you to say that. And um, we were able to track our estimated time and let everybody know that we were going to be coming in at about 7. Yep. I, I think we were one of three late arrivals. Uh, yeah. The two of us and another woman, another stitcher, yeah. uh, came in, and um, they were in the middle of dinner. And... Dinner is, like I said, dinner. all the meals are at set times. Yes. Breakfast is at 8, lunch is at 12, mm -hmm. and dinner, dinner is, is at 6. At 6. But they, but it goes for like a like full a hour and a half. Hours. Right. So if you're there like with your boo and you're there for a romantic weekend away, you just kind of show up whenever in between right. that hour and a half time slot of yeah. lunch right. or breakfast or dinner or whatever. Yeah. Um, and so... We were in the general vicinity of the main dining room right. all weekend. And right. so we would just like move from one table to the eating yeah. table. A room had two twin beds, a good yep. sized bathroom. Mm -hmm. It was on the ground level and it was over around the side of the building. There was a whole string of these kinds of little rooms mm -hmm. and uh, very, very comfortable. Yeah. We did kind of come in like i said in the middle of dinner yeah we finished dinner up with everybody and mm -hmm. then we visited and chit chatted and greeted and hugged and so forth and so on yeah um only to um be told <laughs> that the um uh smalls exchange was going to be the next morning at eight breakfast did i mention that stephanie did all the driving i also don't like mornings and stephanie is pretty much a late riser so awesome um and I, when they told me, I was like, "You're, I'm being punked. Yeah. And then they said, no, you're not. No, actually. you're not. And I said, Fine. So pretty much. I'll uh, keep what I made then. As we Just ate kidding. breakfast or before they served breakfast? It was more or less after we ate breakfast, okay. frankly. And we had our um, smalls exchange and it was amazing. Yes. Was so what were you going to say? Go. The, the smalls exchange was very similar to how we do the Smalls Exchange at StitchCon, which is you can stitch anything that you want, just that the wrapping of the small should be, should imply what is inside the package. Right, right. So that way, if somebody is like, oh, I don't do Halloween or I don't do Christmas or whatever, they can, they can avoid those packages. Those. Right. Right. So first, let's talk about what you and I made. Okay. So you stitched from I stitched out. from Hands on Design. Hands on Design. It's called Catch a Wave. It was one of those series that Kathy did on the um A Year in Chalk. A Year in Chalk. Mm -hmm. And it was finished by Jan. Mm -hmm. And um she, of course she did a lovely job. Yeah. And then Stephanie found a great sign mm -hmm. um as an accompanying gift. And you got like Joey answers. And it said, um, I'm as happy as a seagull with a French fry. Yes, yeah, super And that deal. just you know, that just um was right. so cute. Yes. So that was my small Yes. And then I stitched um one, two, three, four. Four? Oh, it was more than four, wasn't it? No, because I had... Yeah, okay, so the Festive Fobs from Heartstring Samplery, the Seaside Edition. So I did 
three fobs, I think, and then a fourth little tube. Okay. With the whale in the bottle. Oh, yeah. Um, so, because one didn't feel like enough. That felt like it was just, I don't know, not enough. So, I was like, well, I'll do four. And then that felt like a good amount. So, okay. fun fact, I stitched these in anticipation of attending the Frugal Yankee Retreat in the late winter, early spring of 2020. So when I put the year on them, when I stitched them, it was 2020. When I did the initials on it, I did FY for Frugal Yankee. And then COVID. So... But she wrote a lovely note I did. for her. I wrote a whole story. All about... The frugal Yankee yes. experience. And why and we code, why we love coming to New England and our right. connection, all that. Yeah. So I'm like, well, I'm not ripping it out and I'm not teaching anything mm -hmm. new because mm -hmm. it makes for a great story, right? So yeah. um, a lovely woman received um, mine and she liked it. And I was like, do you absolutely hate that it has 2020 on it? And she's like, no, I love it. So Yeah, and she enclosed everything with kind of like an armchair yeah. um, quilted... Uh, what do you want to call it? It's kind of like it's got a, a pin cushion in it. It's kind of like a stitcher's companion kind of. Thing. Yeah, and it hangs on the side of your chair. And it's got pockets, it, and it was all color coordinated correctly with and Stephanie's stuff. Yeah, and there was a um fabric scissor sheath thing that I put one of the fobs on. Right. Um, and then the others I just kind of like decorated in the thing. So um, so when we are done with showing what we received in the small exchange. We'll insert pictures of okay. what you stitched, what I stitched, and then I have a picture with the person who I got their small from. So. Yeah. Okay. Um, this is the small that I got. So what made you get that box? What or do you package? mean? What attracted me yeah, to yeah, it? Yeah, yeah, yeah. I, I don't I don't know. Oh, okay, okay. I don't know. I just I just don't know. You were just like this one looks nice. I had quite the day the day before. Oh, I don't know you? that I was fully awake. Okay, well, but, congratulations. But how lucky for me because yeah, right. I got this. It was from Kristen in Rhode Island. Okay, great. And Love that. it says, um, Happy Wishes. Cute. A, oh, I guess I should show you this one. Yes. A bazillion. A buzz. A bazillion. Billion. With a little... And then a bazillion happy wishes. And there's the little bee. Cute. And then she, of course, That's did all this bush. beautiful work and enclosed the Pretty. scissors as well, which are kind of purpley. Oh, I love so them. So they're color coordinated with that. So, so Kristen, cute. if you're watching, thank you yes. again. It's just so lovely, pretty. beautiful stitches. Beautiful, yes. beautiful. Beautiful finishing, too. Yes, absolutely. Um. The one that I got, the what I can tell you was um, it was wrapped in red and white striped paper and the ends of it had been kind of twisted a little bit um, and then like it looked like a very large um, peppermint candy and so I was like, oh, this one. I had no idea what was in it, obviously, but I was like, I like Christmas, let's do Christmas. Plus, I thought, it's already November, so whatever I pick, if it's Christmas, I can display immediately. Not immediately, but, you know. So, inside of the packaging was this. And this is a needle minder. It says sleigh rides of free cocoa for 25 cents. And I don't want to lose it, so that goes like that. Okay. And then, inside of the bag... was a bunch of goodies and my small oh I didn't even have it in there okay are you ready so my small was made by actually someone who is very near and dear to my heart her name is Sue Morelli and she lives in Massachusetts and she is a hoot and a holler mm -hmm. and we met her in 2019 Effrugal. Effrugal. She's the best. When I obviously when I picked it up I had no idea who made it, but Yep. 
So good. So inside is this from Wayside Country Store in Marlboro, Mass. Yep. And I, you're literally going to see my first reaction because... <gasps> it's fudge. Oh, my heavens. I didn't know it was fudge. Yep. Super really, I didn't know it was fudge. Mm -hmm. Oh, boy, I'm excited. Okay. Um, and then there's also this uh, herbal Christmas tea inside as well. Hold on. Okay. What? Something to do with... Um, it's on the post road, the Boston post road in Marlboro. Uh -huh. And there's a reference to Longfellow. Longfellow. So... Yeah. I thought you was going to eat my fudge. No, not yet. Mm -mm. <laughs> okay, great. Um, and then there was a very sweet card with a very sweet note inside. And then at the toe of the stocking was an orange, which um, is a Christmas tradition for Sue's family. And she wrote me a sweet little note about that um, and then I got to tell Sue that I also got oranges in my stockings when I was a child so that's cute um, and then she also gave me all the details about this very beautiful beautiful small so this is what Sue made for me so this is um, oh, there's a cat at my foot um, this is from the Home for the Holidays book by Blackbird Designs. And um, so S-I-R, those initials are for the Stitch in Retreat 2021. Yeah, pretty. Wow. Yep. And she Gorgeous. used, she said that she used a DMC 115. Then she finished it on the back with this lovely red fabric. And this is on 20 Count Ada. And with this cute tassel lovely i'm obsessed with it yeah it's freaking perfect yep and you know what i decided that i i, I decided after we left but this is going to be um my cat stocking oh wonderful so i'm going to put the cats yeah treats and toys in here yeah from santa perfect so thank you so much so um i got to take a picture with Sue with my smalls. It was a little bit chaotic after like not chaotic. It always is kind of it but it, everybody's yeah. mingling and Right. And like, oh who made this? But we took um we took pictures of the other smalls on the table. Um just the talent is insane. Um so great. Yeah. Um so we will insert any smalls exchange like pictures. First it'll be what Pam stitched and gave and then what I stitched and gave and then um any smalls exchange pack pictures will be after that. So we'll insert those here. Yeah. feature of the retreat was um, there was a pop-up shop uh, there with Randy from the World and Stitches. Yes. And of course we went to World and Stitches in 2019 when we went to the first Frugal. Yes. And um, <coughs> also, uh, what was I going to say? I don't know. Um, we went to the shop and so we met Randy and we, yeah. you know, we... Well, we met Randy in 2019. Is that what you're saying? That's what I okay, just said. Okay. Yeah. okay. So she did a little pop up, yeah. and here's a cute thing. Yeah, they actually, um, Lynette and Ellen Rainey, mm -hmm. and maybe a couple of others, okay. who were doing this exploratory um, oh, yeah. mini retreat at the farm, mm -hmm. um, 
came up with the idea of having a retreat fabric, an exclusive retreat fabric mm -hmm. that... Um, was dyed that, by Seraphim. That Seraphim dyed, and because of the farm theme, they named it... Um, Braying Donkey. Braying Donkey. And it's a beautiful, because, you know, beautiful gray, and um, you could pre-order it, or if you it? were lucky, yeah. So when we went down to the shop, she did, she did. we didn't pre-order it. We just we missed the chances, boat or whatever. Yeah. But and we knew that it was was going to be available yeah. regardless. So um, she still had forty count left. So I was able to get my hands on that um, immediately. So this is what it looks like. It's a very lovely like oh, blue gray situation. Yeah, it's yeah, it's not as blue as that in person. I feel like it's more. No, it's more gray. Yeah, yeah, that's a little better. I love it. Yep. It's beautiful. Mm -hmm. Good for, you know, anything winter, I feel. Yeah. And the 32 was all out, but I've ordered but some ordered from some Rudy, stuff. so it's fine. So you're fine. Yep. You'll get it. Um, and so then, um, but what did, she, so we also have some haul from the World yep. in Stitches. So, and it was so, I mean, New Hampshire, fun fact, is a no state tax state. So we right. did not pay any state taxes on right. these purchases. So one rent. thing she did have, she did have Seraphim uh, Bee's Knees. So I picked up some uh, half a yard, actually, yep. of Bee's Knees from, from It's Lori a great neutral. At, um, Seraphim. Yep. So I just grabbed that up. Yep. At the pop-up. <clears throat> and then I also got um, a piece of 40 count Bee's Knees. I actually um, had ordered some from Hobby House Needleworks a long time ago. Um, and when it came, it was very golden. Hmm. It's beautiful, but it wasn't quite as brown as I had hoped. Um, and how, do, how does my 32 and yours compare? Mine's a little darker, yeah, okay. but beautiful nonetheless. Mm -hmm. um, and then I also got, this is a fabric that you bought direct from somebody. Um, the color Boston. Oh yeah. And, uh, so I got Boston in 40 count mm -hmm. from the Does World it say who it's? It's from Seraphim. Oh, Seraphim. But Boston. I bought it from the World in Stitches right, right, pop-up right. shop. Right? Yep. Yep. Okay. Can you put those over there with your other fabric, please? Mm -hmm. And then, um, I got some charts from Randy too. Um, this is new from Shepherd's Bush called Thoughts of Halloween. I love that big moon situation. Uh, and she had a ton of Barbara Anna. And so this one is called The Branch. Come with me on All Hallows Night. And it says, Come with me, All Hallows Night will frighten everyone in sight. Such pranks for once are justified and fun and frolic amplified. I love it. Uh, and then this one is called Something Wicked. If I'm honest, I don't know if I have this or not. I don't think I do. But if I do, then this will be a giveaway. So. Then this one is called Sisters. Hannah Black and Betsy Black. Look at that. Look at that crow with the crown holding an acorn. So cute. Love it. And then I've seen this one stitched by many a people. Never bought the chart before. Until I saw Randy's model in her pop-up shop. And this is all creatures great and small. And I just think it's beautiful. And I saw Randy's model. And, and I you said, saw so many creatures at the farm. So many creatures. <coughs> that's how. That's what I'm going to. There you go. That's why it's tied in too. Okay. So I'm going to take out the phrase about yeah, yeah. God. And yeah. put in yeah, East something. Hill Farm. Something. Um, and then I also got this one from Leela Studio called With the Needle. Yep. And I love this. Okay, I'm going to read it to you. Story time with Steph. Flowers, plants, and fishes, beasts, birds, flies, and bees, hills, dales, plains, pastures, skies, seas, rivers, trees. There's nothing near at hand or farthest sought, but with the needle may be shaped and wrought. And look, there's a farm on that, too. That is so pretty. The colors are Awesome. I know, right? It's yep. a very down-home country on the farm. All DMC. Well, 
One week's color, but the rest are DMC. Love it. What's the week's color? Oh, she just has it numbered. Not Aqua, it says. Or. Oh, okay, okay. Mm -hmm. Got it, got it. Cool, cool. That's probably for the water or the mm -hmm. sky mm -hmm. or some situation. Um, so, I'm trying to think of what else we for. So, love it. A huge thank you to Randy for oh, lugging yeah. all that stuff there. That was so great. We also took some freebies. There was yeah. a there was a, a place where you could lay out your freebies and people yes. could take advantage. Yeah. Um, so if you're somebody who is looking for Seraphim fabrics, mm -hmm. um, then both shops we've talked about today, both the World in Stitches and Hobby House Needleworks carry Seraphim fabrics. World in Stitches is in Massachusetts. Massachusetts. I can't think of the town, but we'll link it below. Yes. And, um, I don't think that Randy has like an order, a, a website that you can order things. No, from. I don't think so. But you can call yeah, just oh, yeah, like yeah. keepsakes. Yeah. Um, so. speaking of shops, um, one of the folks that was at the retreat has a floss tube channel that you should first be watching. Yes. And, um, then I have uh, something very exciting to tell you about. Oh. This is Pam and she is stitching in the land of good enough on floss tube yep. she lives in rhode island and if you know new england you know that you know it doesn't take too long to get around any of those states right and she <clears throat> will open this week um a much needed other lns yes called stitch new england yep. and it is in north attleboro massachusetts yep. of course she picked steph's brain all to pieces with questions about which I was um, happy to appease. Absolutely. They had some great discussions. Mm -hmm. And um, so, first of all, check out. Uh, there were there were several floss troopers there. And I don't mean to single Pam out. But. Uh, the, I, what's the name of the shop, Pam? I did. I said Stitch New England. Oh, okay. I didn't hear Stitch you Stitch New that. England. Um, and she's she's very excited. She's chopping at the bit. And we're yeah. so excited for it. Yeah. <coughs> so. <coughs> um. We so enjoyed our weekend with, oh, stuff we've got other it. stuff. Yep. Okay. Because the people were generous to us and very sweet to us. <coughs> and um, we got some gifts when we got there. So we talked about the treats that Peggy gave us right. in Pittsburgh. Right. And then we also it came from a bakery in Utica. Right. 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 Um, and then we also were given treats from Joanne. Joanne Palmer, who lives in Portland, Maine. Yes. And um, I don't know whether I mentioned it or she knew anyway. She probably knew anyway. <clears throat> yeah. She brought us a box of donuts. You probably said something to her when we saw her at Quilters at the beginning of September. And the donut shop is called, just went out of my head. Hold on. The Holy Donut. It's on Park Street in Portland, right across from the Oaks, if you... Are ever in Portland, Maine. I feel like there's a um, location in Augusta, maybe, too. They might. Or Brunswick. But they, I think they originated in this Portland location. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. Oh, my God. First of all, and donuts. And they're potato from, donuts. Yeah, they're potato donuts. Yes. Sounds, maybe, a little bit. Hmm, but So, full disclosure, I had no idea. I've never heard of them before. I had no idea that they were potato oh, okay. donuts. So, one night, must have been, for, I don't know, one of the nights we were in New Hampshire, Pam had gone to bed and I was up stitching in the room and I was just like, I just want something to eat. And so I just dug into the donuts. I had, I assumed that they were donuts like any other donut. Mm -mm. And I did not, I ate an entire glazed donut. Mm -mm. It was probably like three mm -mm. in the morning. It's fine. And when I saw that they were potato donuts, I was like, huh? Yeah. Couldn't tell the difference. So, so that good. was amazing. Thank you again, Joanne. Uh, Joanne, we met at Quilters. And I knew of her before because she's a loyal keepsakes customer. And when you were nose to the door at Kathy Haberman's at oh, yeah, Galleria that's right. <laughs> that's right. to get the, the blah, blah, blah pumpkin. Philanthropic kit, pumpkin. The philanthropic pumpkin. Yes. We picked up one for Joanne. And um, I am lending her a chart mm -hmm. from Judith Kirby. Yes. So we had great interaction. And with she bought me a gift too. Then two huge pieces of cake yes. and a whoopie pie. Yes. 
from Becky's Diner yeah. in Portland, Maine, right down on Commercial Street. Mm -hmm. So good. Oh, my God. I messaged her today, and I said, <laughs> the frosting. That's so funny. One blueberry cake slice, one carrot cake, carrot slice. cake slice, and this whoopie pie mm. that is about this big. Joanne. The next time we see you, Joanne, we're going to be forty pounds heavier. Thanks. I'm going to need a peanut butter whoopie pie. <laughs> <laughs> anyway, my favorite. So, and we got lots of other things too. Yes, yes, yes. Um, from other wonderful people. Right. So, one person that was so lovely to finally meet was Kay. Um, she is Beadwitch fifty one, I think, on Instagram. Forty two. Beadwitch forty two. There you go. Same difference. She lives in Falmouth, yes, Maine. Not Falmouth Foreside. <laughs> It's important that you know that. <laughs> yes. Um, and everyone else is like, what are they talking about? Um, so she's been a loyal viewer fan, whatever oh, yeah. you want to call it, of she's our great. channel for a very long time. Sorry about the crinkle crinkle. But she um, had gotten a piece of... Oh. The tag is in the bag. So, so sorry. So sorry. There you go. Um, from... A piece of fabric from Bestitch Me in 40 count even weave. And she's like, it's just too small. Um, and so she brought it and gave it to me, which I thought was very kind. And she even left her stitches in there for me. Oh, yeah. Um, but the whole fat quarter, I mean, yep, yep. that's so kind. Mm -hmm. um, so thank you, thank you, thank you so much, Kay. I yep. love it. Yep. And I got to remember to put that back on there. That's fine. Okay. Because I got to. Put the thing in there. Okay. Uh, okay. And then a lovely woman named <laughs> Stephanie. Stephanie. Um, she gave us these adorable cards yeah. that she made. And the quote on them says, here's to those who inspire us and don't even know it. How sweet is that? Is that something? And then a lovely, um, a lovely, lovely note. Lovely, inside. lovely note. Yes. <laughs> she wrote okay and then she made these things for us yeah she's um also a wool appliqueer yes a wool applier i don't know what they're called um but okay they're scissor sheaths look at this freaking thing and in my card she's you can show yours don't worry, I had scissors for mine too, but I'm going to show you in a second. So she said, this little lamb can remind you of the farm. Even if they don't have a lamb, you can pretend it's a pig or a cat. <laughs> and I was like, I am, uh, that's she's fine. great. So, so cute. And then see this little clippy clippy here? Okay. Yeah. So, scissors mm -hmm. into the sheath. Yep. Like so. See where the button is? Yep. It's like a seatbelt for your scissors. A seatbelt for your scissors. Seatbelt for your scissors. Love Safety it. first, people. Safety Had first. a nice, nice chat with Stephanie and everybody in that room. Yes. Um, and it was fantastic. Yes, lovely. So thank you so much, Stephanie. We appreciate your kindness. Mm -hmm. um, and then I know I thanked the person that gave me these things. And I am very sorry that I do not remember your name. So please forgive me for that. I'm so, I feel terrible. Okay, right. I just, I can picture your face in my head. Mm -hmm. And I don't know what your name is. Look, she even wrote for Steph on there. Mm -hmm. So she had gotten some stickers for her book of days. And she got these for me. Look at that. That says East Coast on it. That's friggin' perfect for fall. Mm -hmm. Cute. I'm obsessed with these stickers. Yeah. They're so fantastic. They're so pretty. Mm -hmm. I love them. Um, and then she also gave me this um, Leisure Arts leaflet called Heart of Christmas. And there are some mittens mm -hmm. down here that she thought that I would like. Yeah. They're very cute. She brought job. some charts for me, too. And every single one of them I already owned. Well, So it's, it's the a... thought that counts. Yes, it is. Yes. Okay. And then... Last but not least, um, we had just a lovely group. We tried to like every meal switch up where we were sitting. Yeah, we tried. Um, and then and just to sit with different people, talk to different people, all that kind of good stuff. So, but when we were stitching um, on s s Saturday, um, we kind of were like in the middle of the main room, um, and so 
we got to know a few people and um there was a lovely lovely woman whose name is cheryl right she's from maine yep she is from maine she is a 911 operator mm -hmm. um and in i think i want to say the augusta area uh it's oxford county i know that oh okay, okay. yeah wasn't wasn't where I grew up, but it was Oxford County. Okay. Pretty sure. Um, and she made us both project bags. And she sells these on her Etsy shop, and it's called... Shondals. Shondals. I think that's a combination of her kids' names, I think. Yes. Um, and... Want to see mine? Yeah. They're beautiful. So they're vinyl front. Yeah. And they're like... I don't want to say stiff because that feels like it's in a negative connotation, but they're just like, they're substantial. They're good and sturdy. Good, sturdy. Good, good New England bags, okay? Yeah. Nice and sturdy. Yeah. And if you couldn't see the peep from the other side, look at those foxes. Mm -hmm. Look at that little squirrel on that freaking mushroom. But look, look, look. Yep. I love it. Yep. This I is mine. It. I love it. And. <gasps> Oh boy! I love this fabric. You that know is... I love this fabric. I love that fabric too. So very uh, patriotic. That was great. Um, so we will link. We we were stitching with Cheryl and her friend Michelle from Massachusetts. Yeah. For for quite a good stretch. Oh yeah. Yeah oh, yeah, 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 yeah. Yeah. yeah 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 yeah. So yeah, thank you. Um, and yes. go check out Chandal's on Etsy, which on, I will link on me. Etsy. Oh. Okay, so now at this particular juncture is where we will insert. All of the pictures from the farm of the animals. Yeah. Um, there's some that, there's not a ton because I took a lot of pictures with, for Instagram. So they're vertical as opposed to horizontal. But I did try to take a few. So um, so we will insert um, all of the pictures from the farm. The retreat. Here. said it was a great trip a great yes. way to end retreat season and, and i i got to do something i had never done before no i did not ride a donkey mm -mm. there was no riding of any animals no for me no although it was available i'm gonna do that next year okay okay, okay. <laughs> um i got to go to vermont yes. i've never been to vermont before Steph so never been in vermont so the route goes so we go from cincinnati through Columbus, to basically to around Cleveland. Then we cut over and then we hitch on to the New York Thruway. Well, we go through that little piece of Pennsylvania. The little eerie Pennsylvania bit. And then we go on the New York Thruway. And then we go all the way to Albany. And then in Albany, more like Schenectady situation, we get off of the Thruway and then it is all back roads and state routes until you get to East Hill Farm. Yep. And so we got to drive through rural Vermont on mm -hmm. Vermont 9 mm -hmm. for... That turned into 7, didn't it? Sure. 
Sounds great. It's a single number. Yeah, it was less than 10. Um, anyway, it was absolutely beautiful. Um, it is just as beautiful as you're thinking Vermont beginning of November would be. Yes. So, um, yes, yeah, it was just funny that, you know, it's a I, nice drive. I lived in New England for how many years and never been right. to Vermont. So right. it was great. It was I skied beautiful. one time in Vermont when I was at college. Congratulations. Yeah. And I spent a night in Burlington, I think. I bet you did. But we were, um, yeah, we were in some beautiful country. It was absolutely and it was, beautiful. And it was so fun. Yes. So, um, that's pretty much going to wrap it up. Yes. Um, our plans for the rest of the week until our next video on Sunday yeah. is uh, for me to break in my new chair uh -huh. tomorrow. Yep. And <clears throat> we've got some stitching to do. Yeah. You never did the thing. Okay, well, let's do the thing. Let's do the thing. Just so people don't... For all the haul that we showed you... Yes. And Add to cart. Okay. There you go. Um, it was screaming at me. We have um, a link in our description box. Yep. Um, and it is the Buy Me a Coffee link. Yep. If you um, enjoyed this video, if you were enabled, if you got a chuckle, if you were drooling over our wonderful retreat experience, um, this is an optional way for you to support our channel and to um, uh, uh, help us along the way with our framing and our finishing. Everything that you see up on this wall right now, everything that's within frame. One, yes. two, three, four, five, six. Things. Yes. They were all um, paid Purchased for with, with the Buy Me a Coffee, coffee donations. Um, that's what we use to buy me a coffee. So thank you all so much for Money making our wall so pretty. Um, so we have a couple of gals to thank. Yes. And um, I'm going to first go. Thank you, Anna. And thank you, Deborah. Yes. Okay. Um, speaking of um, that kind of thing. Um, oh, yeah. We... Um, had a little boo boo last week, we and did? and it was totally the song. Oh, that's funny. Oh, okay. So oh, okay, if you okay, remember, we got talking about there was a woman named Stacy. There was a woman named Stacy who talked about her mom, and yeah. it reminded Stephanie of a song called Stacy's Mom. Yes, and she started singing it, and then without thinking, uh -huh. she pulled it up on her phone, mm -hmm. and we played about ten words of it. Ooh, yeah, and we were kind of. You know, goofing around. Well, guess what? YouTube found that. Literally within seconds of us, our video within, going live. Within seconds of it going live, we got flagged. Yes. And so what that means is... We don't get, actually get hurt because no. what they're doing is they're saying that you show... They're saying that we showed or used copyrighted content right. in our video. Right. Okay, fine. Whatever. Are they wrong? No. No, we did. Without even thinking. So what that mean? What YouTube is saying is that okay. Well, since you did that basically without asking, you all, meaning us, mm -hmm. we can't make money off of that video. Mm -hmm. We don't have ads in our videos anyway. Our channel is not monetized, so it doesn't really do anything for but us. But in order anyhow. for them to get some revenue, yes, from us using that song, they purposefully added ads to episode two twenty five. Yes, and. Um, so if you haven't watched two twenty five and you go back and watch it and, and there's maybe ads. this will and maybe this will pique your curiosity and you'll go back, mm -hmm. you're gonna see ads and there's not a darn thing we can do about it. Correct. So we didn't put them there. And that's why I, mean, I guess technically we did it inadvertently. We did by our actions, but um, it doesn't go to us. That the revenue from that go doesn't go to us. Go to us so. And as we continue to make videos, only the people that would go back mm -hmm. and binge watch us, which people do yeah you know then um sure. they're gonna see some ads and they're gonna wonder why so i don't want what the reason that we're telling you this is because we sit here and say we don't have ads on our channel we don't have ads on our right. channel and then you're if gonna you were see to, ads on two and then you'd be like they're big fat liars right so that's I mean, what we happened could with go that video. Through all, we could jump into hoops and and you know cut off our nose to spite our face and we could trim that i'm out. not cutting my nose off well i don't want i don't want to deal with it no um but we've learned our lesson, and that's what happens yes. with copyrighted material. And we honor copyright Correct. and all yeah, of oh that. yeah, yeah. So, but if you're curious, we have not decided to monetize this channel. Oh, no, 
we decide to do the buy me a coffee instead instead yes okay so that is going to do it um and um we hope that you have a good week uh it's on to thanksgiving folks let's so, go let's go uh, let's everybody's go. thinking about turkey uh, and pumpkin pie turkey and pumpkin pie so um Thanks for stopping in. Yes. Um, we have to think about dinner here, too. Mm -hmm. And um, then um, we're going to enjoy a nice, restful week. Yes. Okay. So, um, we will see you next Sunday. And until then, my name is Pam. And my name is Stephanie. And this is Just, Just Keep, Keep Stitching. Bye. Bye.